Welcome back guys my love family. I'm so happy to see you back on my channel. If you are new to the guys my love channel my name is Shannon. I do videos on travel nursing, Christian faith, lifestyle, and beauty. If you haven't already make sure you subscribe. This is my first time making homemade chili. I have seen my parents make it um, but I have looked up a few recipes on YouTube to in a way making my own because my parents they've made it spicy a few times but they usually don't like to make it spicy so i watched a few videos to see how to make it my own which is spicy so i said i was going to try to make them a like unspicy version because i'm cooking some for everybody so um i got up late today per usual let me zoom y'all in come closer come closer come closer come closer. let's talk um <laughs> anyway I got up usual. I got up late per usual. I got up pretty much at six o'clock today because I went to bed late this morning. Y'all know the struggles of night shift, okay? I'll see y'all when this meat is done browning, okay? It's cold you guys it's currently 12 15 it's been simmering for at least two hours and I've been stirring it occasionally and I did use a little more <laughs> um, tomato crushed tomato than was required but I said well I got extra meat so let me just use the rest of this tomato crushed tomato um, but it looks pretty good and the recipe actually required diced tomato but I just went ahead and put crushed tomato that's what I had so yeah this looks really good I cannot wait to eat it but I can see why it required like crushed tomato I mean why it required diced tomato instead of crushed tomato um, because this makes the crushed tomato make it a little more soupy um, instead of chunky so I know for next time but it's not gonna make it any less delicious it's just not gonna be as thick so to show y'all my first reactions <coughs> this is my first reaction to my first time cooking this chili we're gonna see how it is It's hot because I just took it out of the thing. Woo! Okay, not spicy hot, but it's hot because I just took it out of the thing. Okay, this tastes so good. This tastes delicious. And I I made sure not to add um, 
I made sure not to add too much cayenne pepper to it because I do want my family to try it. So I think this is just right. You know that movie, Life, when Martin Lawrence was eating that hot pie? That's how I feel right now. I know some of y'all are probably wondering why am I eating so late at night, but um, I did get up late, remember, and I work at night, and I do go back to work tonight, so it's good that I got up late in a way. Um, so that I can get back on my night shift schedule. Um, because I will be up doing stuff tonight. I will be up. I need to complete two dog bandanas tonight. And I'm going to do my best to get my fall clothes out. I have not gotten my fall clothes out yet. Okay. I've just been picking out bits and pieces of what I need. But I have not like put my spring and summer clothes up and taken my fall clothes out. So if I have some extra time to do that. I would do that, but priority is to get these dog bandanas done because my um, co-workers have already paid for them, and one of my co-workers, she had been paid for them, so it's, I need to get them done, okay? I got the material, I got everything I need to get it done, so I need to get it done. <laughs> Hey you guys, it is Vlogmas Day 5 and today I am putting up my Christmas tree. As you can see, I'm showing you guys a Christmas tree that I got from Home Depot. It is six and a half feet tall. It has warm white light, multicolored light, and you can interchange it between solid white light or a solid multicolored, or it can be white light and colorful light that interchanges at the same time. And it was only 40 bucks. The original price of this tree was $50. Make sure you check out Home Depot and see if they have any more of these trees left. tree um i do need to get some more christmas decorations i do have some christmas decorations but i want to go for a different look this year and probably probably the years following because i love the boho chic look so i'm going to be looking for some boho stuff and i already know where to get it i can get it from walmart i was just waiting to get my tree first um, so I'm going to use like some wooden beads and go around the tree and then I'm going to see like what else I want to use to like fill in the tree. I think I fluffed it out pretty good. Like you can barely see where the middle of the tree is and y'all this tree for 40 bucks and you can have it like solid white, solid colorful and color changing like what? And it's six and a half feet tall, which is more than tall enough for me. <laughs> and then, like, the one that I saw at Target, which only has white light for 60 bucks, 
The reviews weren't even as great about that tree as it was about this one. So I can see why people love this tree. It was so easy to put together. It took me at least like 20 minutes total just because I was just trying to make sure I was putting the right thing in the right places. Um, like it took me like 20 minutes from putting it together to fluffing it out and to being done. Like so much better than like putting a the string of lights around the tree and all that kind of stuff. That takes time. So I'm very happy with this purchase. And I just love that um, smart outlet that I showed you guys because like if I'm away somewhere and I need to turn my tree off, I can just do it by my phone. And if I'm at home, I can just use um, Google Home because I do have um, the Google Home speakers in my house. I can also use Google Home app to turn it off as well. Let me just show y'all. Hey Google, turn off Christmas tree. Sure, turn it off Christmas tree. What? What? Because I've already um, named this outlet specifically as Christmas tree. You have to name the outlets or you just have to remember what outlet was called what to turn it off by voice. Or you can just go into the app, like I said, and just turn it off in the app itself, which is Genie, which is the name of this outlet. Or you can go to your Google Home or Alexa or whatever you use to tell um, things to turn on and off in your home. So um, I use Google Home, like I said. I can just go to the Google Home app or the Genie app. And now I'm gonna turn it back on just by telling Google Home to turn it back on. Hey Google, turn Christmas tree on. I love it. I'm so excited. So you guys, I'm about to do some editing and I will see you guys later. <music> y'all it's a little bit after eight o'clock i feel like today went by so fast even though i didn't do much um i don't know because i got home by like before two o'clock and like it's already after eight o'clock but anyways as y'all can see i've already taken off my makeup i did my nighttime skincare routine let me know in the comment section if that is something that you are interested in to see I love 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 skincare routines but do y'all want to see that from me though do y'all want to see that from me because I don't want to spend my time recording a video that y'all not gonna watch and hurt my feelings um so yeah because as I have told y'all I am a full-time nurse I don't have time to be wasting time <laughs> so as you can hear I'm running my bag I'm just gonna do some Epsom salt. Keep my Epsom salt in these, this little three tier, um, what you call it? This three tier thing. And I use this scoop. Two scoops of Epsom salt. Mm -hmm. 